Okay. First, don't adjust your screen. You are at a slight, my camera's at a slight angle. But, okay, here we go. Last vlog video of 2019. I about to turn the radio on because I'm so in the habit of turning my radio on. So. Oh boy, is this video going to be an update. Very big and, and the updates. So we were having some issues with our apartment complex. Like major issues with our apartment complex. Like constantly giving us notices and telling us that, you know, that we're dirty. We're not. Trust me on this. We've gotten multiple multiple other people who rent so I guess uh landlords who looked at the pictures of our apartment and was like the fuck they bitching about you've lived there for 14 years this is what your apartment an apartment is going to look like a home is going to look like after 14 years so yeah and but so I was like okay fuck this we need to get the fuck out of this apartment and get ourselves into a damn house already. So, that's what we did. Josh had a, uh, been delivering for a past, he said five years. I don't know if it's been that long since he's been on this route, but for as long as he's been on this route, he's had this, uh, very well-known realtor in Topeka, Vivian Kane, on his route. He's telling her, he's asking her advice, and he's, she's like, you gotta get out. You gotta get a house. You gotta get out. And um, she's not saying it because she's, uh, you know, trying to sell us a house, because the, the one that is uh, representing the buyers doesn't really make a commission. So, but she ha she got us all set up in a pre-approval, and Monday we go get we fill out all the paperwork for a house loan. I'm on going to be on the title. I am part of the loan, and we have we found a house. Tentative closing date of February. 17th. Okay, persons are, I think this person in front of me has already started drinking. Because they're like in the middle of the lane. No, oh, there you go. Nope, they're still in the middle of the lane. That or they're texting. This is going to be interesting. But, I am so excited. This person's like older. And I don't want to be behind them. I don't want to be in front of them either. But, it's, this house is awesome. It's got vaulted ceilings in, like, the living room, the main living area. It's got a kitchen that's a perfect size for us. Because I don't cook a lot, but there's plenty of room to grow. Plenty of cabinet space so I can have my appliances and stuff that I want. for a third bathroom so we could go 
four bedrooms, three baths. And Josh is already looking into stuff like how, what goes first, the flooring or the walls. And I'm like, the walls. Because you do not want to get drywall and everything related to that on brand new flooring. And you'll stuff it and stuff like that. Because basement, I'm not putting carpet. Um, then, and you don't want to get paint all over your brand new floor. It's easier to fix paint than it is to fix the floor. It's like, okay, that makes sense. But, growing up, my parents' house was always in a state of construction. Something was always being built, rebuilt, redone, all of that. So, I was like, I'm used to that. Um, it cut, it's, all the appliances were staying. We negotiated that into the contract. Uh, including, it's a flat top. Up, uh, stove and oven like over overhead uh, microwave so we'll have a spare microwave um, it's got the huge 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 double door refrigerator with ice built in not the ones with the bottom with the freezer like you know extra stuff's on the bottom but it's like literally double door fridge and freezer but, swear to God, it's bigger, complete, like, I'd say one and a half times the size of our current refrigerator. Just the refrigerator part. <laughs> so, then we get that twice the amount of, double the amount of space, or, I'm sorry, it's like quadruple the amount of freezer space, which is really good because my father-in-law prepping and stuff like that and be able to freeze the meals like be able to catch like certain fruits and vegetables fresh and then be able to throw them in the freezer and get go to like Sam's or something and get big packages of meat for a lot cheaper that we can't do now because not enough freezer space and do all that kind of stuff. So that's that's exciting. That's going to save us money in the long run. But oh, it's stressful. It's very, very stressful. Getting, doing all of this. And everybody's like, you're ready to sign your life away. Sign 600,000 pieces of paper. It's like, oh, we already got that experience. Because Vivian has this initial every single piece of paper that she gives us. And then she makes copies of it. And she keeps, she keeps, she keeps a copy, and we keep a copy. So it's like, but I like that she's doing that because then she knows what we've seen, what we've done. It had a full inspection three years ago, so we had to sign. That was like a twenty-page report, and so that's awesome and done. And then, so we have to get a roof inspection and a pest control, pest, basically a, a termite. Because we do have very high vaulted ceilings and stuff like that. It's very easy for termite damage to be not noticed until your roof is collapsing on you. Or your ceiling, I should say. But, yeah, so freaking excited and nervous and happy a little a little sad not because of like I'm sad to leave this apartment it's just I feel like we're going to be leaving memories behind but I love the fact that we get a chance to make new memories like my father-in-law just made me like grin so big because he seemed kind of like tentative and unsure about us buying a house Really? 
but at our family Christmas, which was um, Sunday, we, he goes, uh, Christmas, Christmas next year at Josh and Sarah's. I'm like, like, yeah. And I was telling my husband that. He's like, I'm not sure we're going to have enough space. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, dude. Then he was thinking about it, and it's like, it's about as much living space at the top for what his dad's got. So we'll be fine. And I heard squeaking from my brakes, which I should not be. So, And my battery is telling me it's about ready to die. So I'm home. So I'm going to go ahead and say bye. And see you in the new year.